In this presentation, we will perform a fluid mechanical dissection of pickup truck aerodynamics with a focus on examining the efficacy of aftermarket drag reducing devices. There are many existing aftermarket pickup truck products that claim to improve the aerodynamic performance of a potential customer's vehicle. Most of these products are based on incorrect assumptions about the primary relevant fluid mechanical phenomena occurring in the bed of a typical pickup truck. Fluid mechanical misconceptions do not stop with aftermarket products. Many customers are confused whether driving with their tailgates down or up is more aerodynamically efficient. OEMs have not provided much clarity on this issue. In this analysis, we will cover streamlines, boundary layers, form drag, and skin friction drag. We will simplify our analysis by only considering the vertical symmetry plane that goes from the front to the rear of the truck. This will allow us to only consider 2D effects. The most important fluid mechanical phenomena involved in the pickup truck example are able to be explained with a 2D analysis, so this simplification is valid. Each of these images shows a simulation of streamlines around a pickup truck moving forward. Due to the scale of the truck and relatively high flow speed, the Reynolds number is high, the flow cannot be assumed to be rotational, and viscous effects must be taken into account. The flow above and near the top of the truck is laminar, and a point of turbulent boundary layer separation occurs at the rear face of the cab. The Bernoulli equation holds along all streamlines, however the rotating streamlines in the truck bed are largely disconnected from the flow surrounding the vehicle. In this turbulent region of flow in the truck bed, a persistent eddy occurs where total pressure is lower than in surrounding regions. This low pressure region contributes to form drag force on the vehicle. Form drag is an induced force that occurs due to a pressure differential generated by an object moving through a fluid. As with most vehicles, a pickup truck exhibits a high pressure region at its front where streamlines stagnate. A pickup truck also has a larger and lower pressure region near its bed, which reduces the normal force from behind. As a result, the net backward force on the truck due to form drag is greater than that of a car without a bed. Skin friction drag is the result of tangential viscous stresses caused by an object's interaction with a fluid boundary layer. And a boundary layer is just the region near an object where velocity is changing as you move away from it. This effect takes place on all surfaces of an object moving through a fluid. This can be mitigated with design improvements and decreases with the thickness of the boundary layer as shown in the stress equation. However, the effects of skin friction drag are always present to some degree. We now look at lowering a tailgate. This changes the geometry of streamlines, increasing the size of the low pressure region, causing greater streamline curvature and density. As such, a lower pressure at the base of the cabin forms, increasing form drag. With comparable skin friction drag force, the lower tailgate has higher overall drag force. When a bed cover is applied, the size of the low pressure region decreases. As such, lower streamline curvature and density is present. Therefore, the pressure at the back of the cab is greater, resulting in less form drag. Further, both possess comparable skin friction force, making the bed cover possess less overall drag. Following the previous example, the unconventional Cybertruck bed shape results in no in-bed low pressure region, and the only low pressure region is a small area behind the car. Form drag is significantly decreased and outweighs any effects indu induced from the increased skin friction force. The power required to drive a vehicle relates to overcoming drag force, rolling resistance, and achieving the power to reach the desired velocity. Fuel consumed relates to the power required and the brake-specific fuel consumption, a measure of motor efficiency. Combining these equations, it can be seen decreasing drag force, especially as the car speeds up and drag force becomes greater, directly aids in the efficiency of the vehicle. A high-level experiment that we could implement to determine the change in the drag force due to different aftermarket products or truck geometries would be to measure the tension load on a retaining cable while the truck is experiencing large drag forces in uniform flow at high speeds. While this would provide a high-level analysis of the change in drag force, it is not sufficient for describing the change in the fluid mechanical effects discussed in this presentation. For this, CFD is the most effective testing method.